Mary Magdalene, is a figure in the Gospels who doesn't receive frequent mention and ultimately disappears from the narrative in the Book of Acts. In Luke 8 1-3, she is listed among several women who supported Jesus' ministry. Following this, Jesus went around from place to place, preaching the gospel of God's coming kingdom. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases, Mary, also called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had been cast out, Joanna, wife of Herod's household manager chooser, Susanna, and a host of others. These women provided for them out of their own means. This passage indicates that certain patrons, including Mary Magdalene, supported Jesus' ministry financially as he wandered as a rabbi without a steady income. The name Magdalene suggests, she might have come from the town of Magdala on the western shore of the Sea of Galilee. Contrary to later stories and speculations, such as the claim that she was a prostitute, there is no biblical evidence to support such notions. These stories arose many centuries after the events, with figures like Pope Gregory the Great in the 6th century identifying Mary Magdalene, as the unnamed woman who anointed Jesus' feet in a homily, leading to confusion about her identity. Mary Magdalene plays a more prominent role in the accounts of Jesus' death and resurrection. Matthew 27 55-56 notes that during Jesus' crucifixion, many women were there, watching from a distance. From Galilee, they came to take care of Jesus' needs. Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and Zebedee's wife were all among them. As Matthew 27 61 attests, she was also there when Jesus was laid to rest. Mary Magdalene was among the first to witness the empty tomb, alongside other women, and she was one of the first to see the risen Christ. Although John's account implies she was alone when she saw Jesus, Matthew's account suggests there may have been another woman present. These accounts might refer to separate appearances or simply reflect variations in the narratives. None of these passages suggest any special or romantic relationship between Jesus and Mary Magdalene that wasn't present with other female followers. In John 2011-18, Mary addresses Jesus as Lord and Teacher, not using titles that would indicate a husband-wife relationship. Another significant moment that argues against the idea of Jesus and Mary Magdalene being married is found in John 19.25, which mentions the women present at the crucifixion, including Mary Magdalene. However, Jesus singles out only his mother in the next passage. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son, and to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home, John 19 26-27. If Jesus were concerned about the women in his life at that moment, it would be reasonable to commend the protection of his wife. If Mary Magdalene were his wife. However, he specifically singles out his mother, indicating that she is the only woman for whom he is taking direct societal responsibility.